Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you are new here. My name is Lily and if this is the first time that you have come over to my channel, welcome. Um, I usually post videos to do with wellness, so a lot of personal development. Um, I am going to be uploading fitness videos as I've really started getting into that now and I kind of want to document my journey, share it and also help anyone that also wants to be getting into it. So that is definitely what's going to be coming up. Potentially some favourite recipes I'm not sure cooking isn't my absolute forte but definitely lots and lots and lots to do with personal development and just you know health and wellness in general and I really want this page to just be a place that you can come to learn and grow and get inspired to just really really push and live a balanced lifestyle so in today's video this is all about goal setting so we're going into a new year and a lot of people tend to set goals in a new year. So I wanted to share with you my goals board. I actually did this last year and I will link the video up here so that you can watch it. But um, I've slightly adapted it from that video because I actually really, really enjoyed it. It's something that I did use or some of the elements of it I used throughout the year. So I've just basically added a, add a little spice to it and um, made it a little bit better. And I, this is something that I will be doing every single year because it really does work. I'll probably slightly tweak it and stuff like that. But I wanted to share with you uh, my 2021's goal board give you guys tips on how I set goals for the year, share with you my goals board, because maybe this is something that could work for you guys too, because it's a little bit of a mix of both. So those people that are like really analytical and like to have lists and stuff like that and like things to check tick off that this is going to work for you and those of you that are very visual it will also work for you because I'm kind of a little bit of both if I'm honest like I'm a very visual learner but I also like to have my list so that I can visually see what I need to do and tick it off and stuff like that so without further ado we'll get straight into it so what I tend to do when setting goals is I like to write down what it is in the, all the kind of areas so let me just get my laptop out because I do write it all on there the areas that you want to basically write is um what are my goals in your personal life your business or professional life uh your spiritual physical and financial so those are the five areas that i tend to like see what i want write my kind of goals see what what's going on i really try to make it focused on my longevity goals as well but things that are achievable for this year. Maybe take that into consideration. If you don't have like long, long, long term goals, that's absolutely fine. Just set them on what you want to achieve in this year. And please, please make sure that you are setting SMART goals. So shout out to Gillian if you are watching this because she actually told me about SMART goals. And what that stands for is specific goals that are measurable, attainable, realistic, and there is a time frame. So these are kinds of things like if you're I was watching Sarah's, Sarah's Day and she was saying how like last year she said that she wanted to run 5k every single day for the year and that was just unrealistic of a goal because um, by the first month she was just absolutely over it and sick of it and then it was like you start to feel deflated and unmotivated because you're like oh I'm already giving up like that's ridiculous and I believe that I spoke about this in my previous uh, video but the best goal that I'd set um well the best uh new year's resolution that I set was when Kai and I were like we're going to limit the amount of fizzy drinks that we're drinking so we didn't even cut them out we were just like we're just gonna limit the amount that we drink so we only have it if you know we're out for a meal and then we'll have it or if we've ordered a takeaway and it comes with a free can or something like that but we weren't just we just weren't gonna have it just every day basically it was like when it was you know reasonable basically and it it made the best difference and honest to god now i barely drink fizzy drinks and it is purely because of that new year's resolution so high five to me for that so once i've kind of got those goals once I've kind of set those goals and I've kind of got what I wanted to do, like what I want to do, I don't recommend that you have loads of goals, like a ridiculous amount, but just stuff that's, you know, attainable. Remember, smart goals. Then I've basically separated my year into three months and kind of got focuses within those three months. Um, and 
I kind of did this on a spreadsheet kind of thing first and then implemented it into my goals board. So you might want to just focus on one thing for the first three months, then, you know, da 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 da. Because it's all about making sure that you're creating habits out of these things and there are things that are going to stick. Um, so let's get into the actual board itself. So this is basically my goals board. So what I have is over here, I have my monthly gratitude. Now I did this last year. I actually did the video last week where I went through it. I can link that again at the top if you have missed that video, but it's literally just a plate blank page just says monthly gratitude then you've got each of the months down the side and at the end of each month I write down the one thing that I'm grateful for that year now a new addition is this one which is my monthly lesson so I've done the exact same thing but I've split this up into six into six months so the page behind it is the next six months but I've got the month and then I've got what to improve and how I'm going to do it. So what did I not do that month that um, I wanted to do and what will I do better? How am I going to do, uh, how am I going to improve it and so forth just there. Then I've got here my 2021 goals. So then I've got the goals that I want and then the date that it's done by. So debt paid off, done date, bought my first home ebook release yes you read that right i'm going to be releasing an ebook this year i will talk about that later on in the year the pt certification worked out 156 times that's three times a week every week become an area manager become a vi regional vice president by the end of the year that's how I, what i want to be doing and then 1000 1k subscribers and 4k watch time so by the end of this year i would like to be monetized and then when they actually achieve it when i actually achieve it i'm going to be writing the date just here and then this is my actual goals and what i'm actually going to be doing every month so last year i did this this year what I changed is I actually wrote my goals for each month already down um, Now the reason that I've already done this and I actually sat down for about a week and really planned out the entire year What I want to actually do every single month what I want to achieve um, I tried to be as realistic as possible like the absolute bare minimum basically because I'm reading the 1% rule and it literally says there, it's just about moving the needle 1% every single day, you know? You don't have to burn yourself out. You just have to make sure that you're consistent, consistently doing the work. So I split up the, uh, I basically wrote and planned every single month and actually wrote in my goals, typed them already up so I can just tick them off when I've done them and I know what I need to focus on each month. I'm not going to go through every single month because that's just a ball ache, but I'll just show you January's because it's pretty much the same for every single month, except, you know, the goals will slightly vary and stuff like that and they'll change. So it goes January and I'm doing the 30 days to healthy living, upload three workouts a week on IGTV. Oh, well, just on Instagram. And then I've got my business ones. These are my daily method of operation. So that's two business asks a day, three product asks a day, and adding five new people, constantly building my network. YouTube, upload four videos, that's one a week. And then my personal, this is workout three times a week, pay off my debt and job hunting. So I've also done my yearly spread and I've added in what the, um, what's it called? What the card was and the word, the one word that it kind of sums up basically. And January is loss of money, which I'm not surprised because I'm paying off my debt, I'm losing money. So I also added, which I forgot to mention, is the overall card that sums up the, the whole of the year. And I actually got the seven of pentacles, which kind of stands for investment, which makes complete sense. So those are kind of like how I've planned out the goals. So I've just got my actual all goals when I get them done by, then it's like broken down to each month, what I need to do monthly. And then I've got my monthly gratitude there, my monthly lessons there. And then I've added in the middle, like a vision board but this is my ultimate lifestyle goals so you can really really see here that it's so based on you know just a nice balanced lifestyle i've put in the middle i am creating the life of my dreams which is the best affirmation I just really quickly want to talk about affirmations that one 
if you are working towards the life that you want but you do not feel confident enough to affirm that kind of lifestyle yet maybe you're you know you're just not a hundred percent there yet and you don't feel ready to be like I don't know let's just say that you're trying to become a millionaire and you don't you don't feel comfortable or you don't believe truly believe in saying the affirmation like I am a millionaire um using the light the using the affirmation I am creating the life of my dreams is honest to god so powerful because you believe that because it's every step that you take every day that 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 makes the big results basically so that is one of my favorite affirmations and um that's why i've got it right in the center and then you can literally just see it's like got great and healthy like veggie food i've got some yoga poses in there because um i'm really getting into that sort of just really getting into yoga and doing the yoga poses and seeing my progression with that i really love um some workout stuff on there just baths obviously because if you've been following me on instagram you will know that i oh wow that was weird you will know that i absolutely love baths so i've got all my baths on there and then um just some workouts like weights and just like cool traveling places meditation um just yeah just a whole vibe that whole vibe right there is just me to a t and, and it's just the whole life that i continuously want to pursue um that i want to promote that i want to share with you guys that i want to um you know lead that's the kind of stuff that really does bring me joy and where i feel ultimately balanced that's what i got there and it it makes me feel good every time i look at it so you really want to make sure that the inspiration pictures that you have on there make you feel good and you feel really aligned with it and it makes you like brings you inner peace but also motivates you at the same time so i hope that that has kind of inspired you and maybe you would want to do something similar for your sort of goals board so there is something for everyone there it's something that you can break down each month i really highly recommend sitting down and actually thinking what you want to do for each month and um yes it does take a bit of time but then it stops you from procrastinating it stops you from being like oh whoops i haven't done that yet it's two weeks oh never mind i'll just have to like set some goals for next month or whatever it is like you've got focus every single month so it really kind of eliminates any excuses for me personally like anyway so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope hope you've had the best possible entry into the new year and um i'm very excited to just be producing a lot more content um putting out lots more lots more <laughs> putting out lots more of my journey and just hopefully bringing value to you guys because that is what i ultimately want to do on this page is to really just bring value into your lives and to inspire you guys to just lead the best and healthiest lifestyle that you possibly can that brings the most balance to you and yeah, I hope you honestly have the best New Year's and I will see you next week with another video. Thanks. Bye.